Qantas. It's spelled Q A N T A S. Q A N T A S. Actually, Qantas it's an abbreviation, and it actually stands for Q Queensland A and N T Northern Territory A Aerial S Surfaces. So Qantas Q A N T A S actually stands for Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Surfaces. Today it's September twenty fourth, um, Saturday. This video is actually a preview of my um coming trip, which is um my seventeenth um Yolo solo trip again um in the midst of COVID nineteen, the um ninth um trip. As mentioned, I'm going partly mentioned kind of. I'm actually going to um Queensland and um Northern Territory um next week during my um one week um midterm break, which for some reason coincides with um New South Wales um spring school holiday for like the first week because um New South Wales um um spring school holiday lasts for two weeks and um my um one week midterm break it's um collides with the first week of the um state um spring school um holiday. Anyway, specifically in Queensland and Northern Territory I'm going to um Brisbane, which is the which is my fourth time. Um Gold Coast, Gold Coast, which will be my um, third time, and Darwin, which will be my um, second time. So four, three, two, one formation. F Brisbane four point zero, Gold Coast three point zero, Darwin two point zero, and in one trip, which is my um seventeenth um Yolo solo trip again, the ninth um in the midst of COVID nineteen. So Brisbane, it's the um state capital of Queensland, and Gold Coast is also in Queensland, um, near to um, Brisbane, the um, second largest um, city in Queensland, um, of course, um, behind um, Brisbane. And Darwin, or someone, um, I mean, some people may call it um, Top N, it's, it's the state um, capital of the um, Northern um, Territory. So why, um, you know, why I want to go to um, Brisbane, Gold Coast and Darwin? Well, because I haven't been there for um, quite a while, like last time to um, Queensland is already um, like um, two years ago. I did visit uh, Brisbane though, but then like last time to Gold Coast is already um, three years ago, which is um, uh, way before um, COVID, as, same as Darwin. I, I went last time to Darwin, it's already in um, 2019, again like three-ish years ago, way before COVID. Gold Coast also three years ago, not um, I mean not full three years, but you know, almost three years. But last time to um Brisbane, it's already um more than two years. So by um this coming trip, I'm going to um Brisbane, um Gold Coast and Darwin. So I will I will have been to uh, I will have been to um Brisbane um four times. Um, go coast three times, Darwin two times. So that's why I mentioned four, three, two, one formation. Brisbane four point zero, go coast three point zero, Darwin two point zero, and the one it's in um one trip. So um by this trip, apart from you know four, three, two, one blur, I would also achieve um I have been to um all interstate capital from New South Wales, each of which um at least um twice. Because I've been to like previous um like other um, state capitals such as um Canberra, uh, like the state capital of the Australian capital um capital territory um five times, and then um to Melbourne, the state capital of Victoria um four times, um Tasmania, um the state capital of I mean the Hobart sorry Hobart is the state capital of Tasmania. I've been there um two times, um. Brisbane, this time I'm going, will be my um, third time as the state capital of Queensland by the time this trip, I will, it will be my um, third time to go to um, Queensland and then um, Adelaide, the state capital of South Australia, I've been there um, two times and then Perth, the state capital of Western Australia, I've been there two times as well and then this time um, to Darwin will be my second time to the Northern Territory, I mean the state capital of Northern Territory, that's why, you know, I mean by this trip 
I would also have achieved uh, being to um, all interstate capital from New South Wales, because I live in Sydney, all interstate capital from New South Wales, each of which um, at least um, twice. So I mentioned um, I'm going to um, Brisbane, Gold Coast and Darwin um, next week during my um, one week and mid-term break, which, you know, coincides with um, the state um, spring school holiday. But specifically, the date it's um, between um, September 25th, which is like literally tomorrow, Sunday, to um, October 2nd, which is like the next um, Sunday. So on September 25th, um, Sunday, I'm flying um, from um, Sydney um, to Brisbane. Then on some, I will spend like some, some days in a few days in Brisbane. That includes some um, re return, return trips, like interstate between um, Brisbane and Gold Coast. Then on um, 29th of September, um, Thursday, I'm heading up from Brisbane, flying to Darwin. Then on um, October 2nd, uh, the, like the next Sunday, from um, Darwin um, back to Sydney. Some people might ask why um, it's this order, like Sydney to Brisbane, Brisbane to Gold Coast, some sort of return, then Brisbane to Darwin, and then um, Darwin back to Sydney. Initially, I well, I plan to go Sydney to Darwin first, Darwin to Brisbane, Brisbane to Gold Coast, then Gold Coast to Sydney. That route, you know, it looks like much more sense, right? But well, I look at the price, like especially on the flight ticket, it's th this way would be like um, pretty um, expensive. So it's somehow like kind of a bit cheaper if I fly like from Sydney to Brisbane, then within um, Brisbane Gold Coast return, Brisbane to Darwin, and then Darwin to Sydney. And because like there's no direct flight between um, Gold Coast and Darwin, if you fly from Darwin to like between or Gold Coast, you will have to like change like a um, transit at elsewhere like Sydney, Melbourne, etc, which is not going to worth it. I should like kind of stay in Brisbane, like then return to Gold Coast, Brisbane return, then fly from like between Darwin and Brisbane. That route is, you know, alternatively um, makes more sense. And also if I fly on a Monday, um, September 26, it's actually, well, my officially first day of the midterm break, which is also officially the first day of the um, spring school holiday. I don't want to avoid that kind of um, chaos um, in Sydney slash um, domestic airport as some of you guys might have aware. So that's why um, my decision is um, tomorrow, um, September 25th, um, Sunday, Sydney to Brisbane, then spend a couple of days. That includes return to um, Gold Coast. Then on um, 29th, um, Thursday, um, Brisbane to Darwin. Then on October um, 2nd, the next Sunday from Darwin um, back to Sydney. So these are the basic information and um, restriction wise, well, there are basically no um, restrictions at all. Well, unless you've got COVID-19, but if you're traveling um, interstate um, from Sydney to Brisbane, that is from New South Wales to Queensland, within um, Queensland interstate like Brisbane Gold Coast or Queensland to Northern Territory like Brisbane to Darwin, then Northern Territory um, back to New South Wales, like Darwin, um, to Sydney, there are no any um, test testing, vaccination, or um, quarantine requirements. So as long as uh, you you don't have have COVID nineteen, I mean you are not diagnosed with COVID nineteen, you are um, free um, to go. And even like mask requirement as well. So um, masks are no longer mandatory on all domestic flight. That is um, all like interstate flight. So. I do not need to wear a mask uh, during my flight, during I mean inside the airport, and also in like public transport as well, which is like pretty good. That shows um, Australia it's getting um, gradually moving forward uh, to um, live with um, COVID nineteen. So that's um, basically uh, my details. Um, Qantas, you know, again remember Q A N T A S. That stands for Queensland and Northern. Territory aerial surfaces. As my um, 17th um, Yolo Solo trip, the ninth in the midst of COVID 19, remember 4, 3, 2, 1. Brisbane 4.0, Gold Coast 3.0, Darwin 2.0 in one trip. That means will be my fourth time to Brisbane, third time to Gold Coast, second time to um, Darwin, 
which means um, I will have um, achieved traveling interstate or interstate capital from New South Wales, each of which at least twice um, by then. And the key, some of the, I mean, most of the key dates are September 25th, tomorrow, Sunday, from Sydney to Brisbane, a couple of days in Brisbane, that includes return to Gold Coast, then 29th, um, Thursday, Brisbane to Darwin, then October 2nd, from Darwin um, back to Sydney. So in terms of like, lastly, um, the um, time difference wise, um, there are no time difference between Queen, New South Wales and Queensland, but um, Northern Territory, it's like 30 minutes behind um, Queensland and New South Wales. But on, when I come back from Darwin to Sydney on um, October um, 2nd, New South Wales will move to um, um, summertime or like uh, basically like summertime to be simple, which means New South Wales will move one hour forward on, on, on the day I come back, which is like October 2nd um, Sunday. So that means by October, I mean from October 2nd um, Sunday onwards, on that day onwards, New South Wales will be one hour ahead of um, Queensland and one and a half hour ahead of um, Darwin. But for now, at this stage, there's no time difference between New South Wales and Queensland yet. So these are the details. Hopefully um, the um, video will, um, will be useful, especially if you are traveling interstate. I'll put the link in the description down below regarding the um, information in like travel details for Queensland, Northern Territory, and um, New South Wales. Hopefully um, you guys will enjoy the video by uh, giving a like and also subscribe to my channel and also my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter so you guys um, won't miss out um, my journeys um, in Brisbane, Gold Coast and Darwin respectively. So that's a wrap and join me on my flight from Sydney to Brisbane tomorrow on September 25th Sunday.